Welcome to Prep Your Data. We're a startup company aimed at helping you clean up messy data yourself. Obviously, we would prefer you to use our tools, but we also want you to be successful and efficient using Excel itself. This video shows the best techniques we know of for cleaning up name columns with spelling and typing errors using Excel. We also have a video showing how the same problem can be addressed using Prep Your Data software. Here I have some basic sales data about products sold in different countries. If I look at the countries column, it's quickly apparent that there are some problems with the naming. USA sometimes appears as USA and sometimes with dots. Similarly, I have some rows that say UK and some that say Britain. If I try to chart the data, I get something like this. Each of the spelling and punctuation variations is considered a different value and charted as a separate bar. It's useless. Before I can get to meaningful chart, I'm going to have to go through the countries column carefully and correct all the spelling and punctuation variations. I could work down the list row by row, but there is a better way. First, I need to make my data into a table or list. In this version of Excel, I use insert table. In earlier versions of Excel, you might need to use a list instead, and you might need to select all the data cells as a rectangle first. Now I have these filter widgets in each of the column headers. If I click on the filter widget for countries, I can see a list of the distinct values. The first value I don't like is England. I want to change all the instances of that to Britain. So I deselect all, select just England, and hit OK. And that hides all the other rows. Now I type the value I want into the first cell. Now I'm going to select the, all the values in this column so I click on that top cell, scroll down and shift click on the bottom cell, check that I've got them all and I can type control D for fill down. Now although there are many hidden rows in between the values as you can see by these row numbers the hidden rows have not been changed by that operation. Now alternatively you can also use this corner thing to fill down just by dragging it. But I don't trust it. In some versions of Excel if the value is numeric this operation will increment the value on every row and I just want exactly the same value in every row and control D gives me that. Now I can go back to the filter control and select another value that I want to change. Go to the top row, type in the value I want it to be. Now I need to get to the bottom. In this case there are a lot of different rows so it may be helpful for me to put in a splitter. In this version of the Excel I put in a splitter this way view split. Earlier versions of Excel you could drag them on from the bottom right hand corner. But the purpose of this splitter is that I can scroll down the bottom area independently so I can now see the top cell and the bottom cell. Do a click at the, on the top, shift click on the bottom and control D without having to do too much scrolling around. Now I carry on and I work through the values in my list one by one until the number of items on the list goes down and down and down and I get just the values I want. So you may need to fast forward through this. Now I'm down to just the two countries that really exist can turn off the filtering and we can see if we scroll down the values have been corrected. Now we can chart the data and get meaningful results. Showing just the countries that really exist. That was easier and less error prone than working through the data row by row, but still not as easy as using Prep Your Data. Thanks for watching 
Don't forget to watch our other videos showing useful Excel techniques and our product in action.